Last week saw fourth generation mobile edge a little closer as the ITU's deadline passed for the submission of radio interface technologies. There were six candidates for consideration as IMT advanced, although they fall into just two groups. The 3GPP, representing the dominant body of the established 3G community, submitted LTE advanced, an evolution of LTE. China's Ministry of Industry and IT submitted a variant of the 3GPP standard using TD LTE Advanced. The US IEEE submitted its rival WiMAX based standard known as 802.16M. And in addition, Japan evaluated both the 3GPP and IEEE submissions and deemed them suitable for Japanese needs and therefore resubmitted them to the ITU and Korea's TTA followed suit with support for 802.16M. At ITU Telecom World early this month, Motorola and China Mobile demonstrated the capabilities of TD LTE Advanced using time division duplexing, which has evolved from the Chinese-developed third-generation TD SCDMA. What Motorola is showing here is the next generation of technology known as LTE, long-term evolution. And specifically here we're showing time division long-term evolution. There are two forms of long-term evolution, the LTE technology, one is known as FDD and, and TDD, dependent on the various different spectrums that are available around the world. Here we have a full LTE network from core to radio. Uh, we have two demonstrations, one going on the booth in a static um, demonstration and here in the, in the van showing a mobile application of the same technology. So a number of applications we're working today demonstrating high definition video, um, multiple uh, multi-screen uh, uh, uplinks and downlinks, as well as raw throughput. We're able to demonstrate up to 80 megabits per second uh, in a downlink, which is very getting to the sort of uh, the data rates that the, the next generation of technologies have promised and now we're seeing in, in being delivered in, as I say, October of 2009. One of the key areas continues to come up, as it does in, in the media, is the, the availability of devices. One, what we're showing here is that this is a standard device that has been, uh, could be utilized by anyone because of the amount of uh, Wi-Fi embeddedness available today. Um, people are able to demonstrate or be able to experience LTE using a, a Wi-Fi connection, and that obviously will continue when the commercialization comes through, we'll start off with USB dongles, we'll move into single mode devices, multi-mode devices, and it'll be pretty much embedded in the next uh, year, 18 months, to a host of the standard devices that we know today. As for whether TD LTE Advanced makes it to 4G status and the coveted IMT Advanced logo, well, we'll have to wait until October 2010.